what is going on guys clickwood here back again bringing you guys some more madden 16 content guys today what we're gonna be doing is doing a draft here i'm quickly going through it it's kind of a replay obviously uh but you know we're just gonna speed through it as quickly as we can you guys will see the players that i select and and whatnot and you can criticize it in the comments section like you guys always do you guys always say that i make the worst freaking choices of all time Whatever, I don't really care. I, I pick the guys based on the way that I play the game. Everybody plays differently, so, you know, try not to criticize me too much. But uh, I want to let you guys know in advance here, what we're going to be doing um, is, yes, I'm going to be playing today. I'm going to be showing you guys a Draft Champions game, but I am going to be doing a lineup update for my ultimate team here in the next day or two. So be on the lookout for that. We've got a lineup update. I also have some gameplay footage as well for you guys. So be on the lookout for that. Those of you that were watching the live stream already saw it. So you got a little bit of a preview of my team, but let's hop right into this draft champions game guys First play of the game on offense trying to hit this guy I figured that he was probably gonna start off with some man coverage, which he did But look at this. We're gonna throw an interception on the very first play of the game that cornerback Janoris Jenkins made such a ridiculous break on that ball. I have no words The game did not start off well for me. Let's just put it that way and look at this, my opponent's starting off very strong on offense, little drag route there going over the middle of the field, picking up big yardage there on first down, and then he's going to the run here right up the middle. We do make a big hit there with Sean Lee, do not force the fumble though on Joseph Randall. By the way, Joseph Randall got busted for apparently like gambling on football while he was a member of the Cowboys, or I guess I don't know if it was football or just sports it said, so I have no words, but my opponent's going to score a touchdown here and go up. Joseph Randall, by the way, just screw you. Honestly, <laughs> like you're such a piece of shit. I like I can't believe that you were on the Cowboys and I actually had faith in you being someone decent. As Mark Sanchez airballs a pass there, Emmett Smith stopped on the first play of the game. But on the third down and 12, we do convert there to Vincent Jackson, a little out route pattern there. And we've got Emmett Smith, by the way, uh, which is my legend for this for this draft champions, and he is a freaking beast. This is the first chance that I actually had to use Emmett Smith, and he is really, really good. Like, I have a lot of fun utilizing him. Look at it break the tackle there. Like, obviously, if you guys don't know, Emmitt Smith is my favorite player of all time in the NFL. He He's number one, A number one for me. But uh, it's a lot of fun to use him in draft champions as well just because... He's got good speed and he has good vision and I don't know, like he just seems to get through the holes and, and really make the right play as Sanchez again airballs another pass. Brings up a fourth down so we are going to kick a field goal here. Down 7-3 to three after the end of the first quarter so not the end of the world but certainly not the start that we had hoped for only getting three points on our first two drives. My opponent's starting to drive right away here with these inside runs really kind of kicking our ass but we do stop him there to a third and one here and he's going to try and go to the screen pass and we knock it away. Brings up a fourth down. So this is a big play early in the game. He's going to go for it. I'm expecting to run up the middle. But when he started moving around his guys and like audibling and things like that, I was kind of thinking pass potentially. But we still do commit on the run up the middle and we make the play in the backfield. Look at this play. Raheem Moore coming up with a big stop in the backfield. Excellent play defensively. So now we're in a good spot. We could potentially take the lead here. And look at Chase Ford catching the pass in traffic. Breaking away and getting into the end zone. Big touchdown there. So we now are up 10 to 7. That's why you don't go for it in those situations, guys. I mean, I know it's it's easy to say fourth and one, you're usually gonna pick it up, but when you're at your own like 25 yard line, it's very, very difficult to put your defense in that type of a situation. But look at this. Second and 10. He is gonna bomb it deep into coverage. That I thought it was Antonio Brown at first, just based on it being 84 on the Steelers, but it wasn't. That was Shannon Sharp, his legend. That speed, though, out of a tight end, like that is absolutely ridiculous. But we're not gonna stop. We're gonna keep grinding. We're gonna keep trying to run our offense. And look at this. We're breaking away here. Emma Smith breaking another tackle, taken down after about a 14-yard gain there. Brings up another first down, and we're going to find our tight end here. Going over the middle, but a very short gain there. Brings up now a third and six, and we're going back to the out route here to Vincent Jackson. Nearly throwing the pick there. Not a good choice by me. So we're going to take another field goal here on fourth down once again. Tough situation, man. I, I really wish that we could have walked away with seven there, but we do get the three. So that's two drives now where we've been in our opponent's red zone, basically, and not come up with a touchdown. But we do get points on the board, so that's good. Now, second and three, and look at this. Another just chuck it down the field pass. Unbelievable that he came up with that one, but, you know, it's it's Madden 16 for you. The aggressive catches are just out of control. Doesn't matter who you have, I guess. So big play by him, but... 
We make a massive play there on defense, stepping in front of that out route. Big, big play by our defender. We get the interception back from the one that we threw earlier in the game, and we've got about 30 seconds here to drive down the field. Now, normally I would pass here, but I was feeling really, really confident in my running game, and we pick up nice yardage there. Sets up a play action pass here. Another one to chase forward, and he's going to pick up big, big yardage here. 16 seconds left in the first half, and we're dumping it off here to our fullback, who's going to step out of bounds there. Now, we've got 10 seconds left here. We either need to get the ball into the end zone here or at least have enough time to call a timeout and kick the field goal. So here we go. We audible our tight end to a streak and Chase Ford is wide open for the touchdown. Huge play. Now my opponent back on offense here and he is going to throw it into coverage once again down the field. Another pass into coverage deep down the field. We just can't seem to stop it. That's the third one that he's gotten in this game. Another pass into very, very tight coverage there. Comes up with another completion. This is the second half, by the way. But on first and 10, Raheem Moore, once again, he made that stop earlier in the game. And look at this. He is going to break away. He is off to the races. Will he be caught from behind? No, Shannon Sharp can't quite get there. And we are into the end zone for a touchdown. Defensive score there. Now we're up two touchdowns. But... My opponent's got the ball on the kick return. Look at this. Breaking tackles. Breaking another tackle. Bye-bye. You've got to be kidding me. Like, look at that huge return. Thankfully, we do take him down from behind. But, man, how many freaking tackles did he just break right there? Like, this is getting ridiculous. Like, on the past two plays, the kick return and then that run, I think he broke, like, five, six total tackles. That is out of control, EA. Come on. Help me out just a little bit. First and ten, though, for my opponent. He's going over the middle here. Another drag route. I mean, the drag routes are really effective in this year's game, in my opinion. I, I haven't really been utilizing them as much as I should, and uh, it's kind of shown with the fact that I haven't been, like, one of the better players in Madden this year. But now that I'm starting to recognize some things later in this year's game, I think I'm getting much better at the game. So basically what I'm saying is hopefully once we start doing pink slips this weekend, we'll actually be able to, you know, make some plays and, and potentially win some games as we give up a touchdown there. Thought my guy would have been able to make the play on that ball, but he didn't. But thankfully, our offense is still working really well. That PA Scissors play is pretty much crushing this guy. He has no answer for it, and we're giving it to Emmett Smith up the middle there for a 12-yard gain. Emmett's only taken the ball nine times, but he's got 61 yards. Another run here up the middle, just grinding away at this guy as he's overcommitting on the toss. So it's making it very easy for us to run right up the middle. And right here, we should have had an easy first down there on third and inches. My fullback was wide open, but for some reason, our offensive line just didn't block anybody. Fourth and four, and oh my goodness, that was so lucky. I can't even deny that that was just complete luck. Like, that was complete luck. That was zero skill involved. I have no words for that. But, hey, my opponent's breaking a ton of tackles and getting really lucky himself. So, thankfully, we're able to get a little bit of luck going our way. And we're driving down here, running out the clock at the end of the game. My opponent's going to get the ball back with about 50 seconds left on the clock here. But he's down two scores. So, we're in really good shape here. All we basically have to do is make one stop. And we do right there. The interception. Carroll gets the pick. And that is going to end this game, guys. So, we do walk away with the W here in this one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Favor, click that like button subscribe to this channel if you guys are new and guys like I said we're gonna have a lineup update as well as some gameplay here in the next day or two for my ultimate team so be on the lookout for that and I think you guys are really gonna like the team as well one more time guys we will be doing pink slips this weekend over on twitch.tv forward slash click with TV if you guys are not uh, if you guys are not familiar with what we do in that series, it's basically an easy way for you guys to play against me live on stream. And if you beat me, you win a card. It's basically a wager game, but you don't have to wager anything. I just put something on the line, and if you beat me, you win it. So it's a really fun series for everybody. It's frustrating for me because I lose sometimes, but you know what? At the same time, the reason that we do the series is to give stuff away, basically, to people who maybe don't have as good of a team. And maybe they can make play use of the players better than I can or something. I don't know. But again, guys, be sure to check back on the Twitch channel and check back on the YouTube channel as well. Thanks again, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon.